Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to be looking at the Bardock and Gine Rainbow Full Level 10 links. I finished them off the other day and I posted a tweet with a bunch of images of units that had got their final links to level 10 in that little grinding session. And somebody commented saying they'd love to see a showcase for this unit. So I did put out a tweet asking you guys what you thought because, you know, it's like a random older unit. It's not like the hot new thing, so... I don't know if anyone would have been super interested in seeing that video, but a bunch of you guys said that you were, and I really like this unit, so, I mean, I did link level them after all. Um, they are one of the many units in my Bardock shrine of the uh, all the different Bardock units and his team. So, their passive skill is attack and defense 100%, then they get key plus 3 and an additional attack and defense 100% when there's an ally whose name includes Goku on the team, so it just has to be on the team. Then they get another 100% attack when there's a movie boss's enemy, another 3 key and 100% attack and guaranteed crit when facing an enemy whose name includes Freezer. So, we are taking on the Broly uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history. Because a lot of the enemies all throughout this fight are movie bosses. And then we do fight a Freezer at one point. So we are on the Goku family team. It's the best team we can run them on with the 170 lead. Where we can also run their best link partner which is the AGL Bardock. So they got 113k on the first turn defense. That's not too bad. Um, obviously we are fighting. This Broly should be a movie boss. I think all the forms of Broly from this movie are still in movie bosses. So they are getting that extra buff. Uh, we've obviously got a Goku on the team. So they're going to be getting most of their passive active here. Uh, not a huge amount of links with the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. But 2.5 on turn 1. That's pretty good. Um, they greatly raise attack and defense on super attack for one turn as well. Um, so I think I might have to maybe redo there. I don't have any good additional orbs for STR. Which is the only bad thing. Because it would be nice to give them a bit of extra additional. But... Uh, we'll float off Bardock here so we can get him onto the next rotation with them as quickly as possible. Um, the other cool thing, obviously, that we'll use during the video is the Bardock and Gine have an active skill, which is very much like B-Pans, where it's multiplied after everything else, so it actually gives a huge buff, even though the actual stat buff, I think, is only 22%. But it's also for two turns, so use it on the turn. That rotation, including them, gets the benefit and then it's active for the next turn as well. So in a longer event, definitely very, very powerful to have those two turns of big damage. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll keep them in the middle. What's their defense here? 125,000. So they got a few links active, but not too many. Like Saiyan Pride is a really good link. Experienced Fighters is a really good link. Uh, Bardock has both of those. So getting them together is what we want here. So... Go ahead and super attack first. I would imagine post super attack, at least this early on, um, they'll still be taking double digit damage from normal attacks from a lot of these enemies. Obviously Super Saiyan uh, God Vegeta is not a movie boss, so we are missing out on uh, an extra 100%. I can't wait to see what their attack stat's going to be on the turn where we fight Frieza. Because <laughs> that's when they're going to have their full passive active, basically 400% attack. Uh, they basically auto super as well because they're getting six key if they're fighting against the freezer who is a movie boss I guess technically some freezers are not movie bosses, but um, This one is so full uh, full passive and will be activated against him So 2.3 that's not too bad. We didn't lose out on a huge amount really um, Just under a million with no crit we get the additional normal attack and then yeah double digit damage from his normal attacks That's what I would expect. So that's very good and then we've got the support, uh, Goku and Gohan. Obviously, we're never going to transform him. He's just going to be playing the role of support unit. He infinitely stacks as well, so his defense kind of keeps up a little bit, but it's not going to be too crazy because uh, he's in the third slot, so obviously not going to super attack as many times as if he was a main rotation unit. But this is a very strong rotation here for the GT units, plus the support from high school Gohan, so... We should finish off Vegeta this turn, especially if Goku can come through with a crit. Uh, well, they're both Goku, but GT Goku. Because mine's only 55%, but he does have a crit skill orb. But never mind. Super Saiyan 4, just going to crit and take him out with that type advantage. And now we're against another Broly. So this is definitely type advantage. He locks you in place. Okay. Well, that's not so good. Alright, well, I guess we have to do this then. 
So we are going to have to float them off. But we have all of their links active except for Cold Judgment, which is pretty good. So we'll see their attack stat here. And then I think I might have to just... Uh, I'm going to have to cut until I get them back on rotation again. Uh, let's see what attack stat they're going to get here. So this is with no support unit on the rotation. But they've got all but one of their links. Cold Judgment is a defensive link anyway. So be interesting to see their attack stat here. We are against a movie boss. So... And obviously Bardock is a great unit to have on rotation with them because he can go in slot one after building up his defense a few times. He's going to be very solid. And then, yeah, they can attack in slot two. Get that greatly raises defense from their super attack effect. And they should tank reasonably well. We don't have to worry about them taking a super attack now. That's a lot of damage, though, from onto Bardock. So 3.6. So I wonder if we can, with support as well, we should easily be able to break 4 mil when we're against Frieza. So that's going to be... Very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Right, so I'm going to cut until we get them back on <laughs> main rotation with Bardock. Okay, perfect. So we got our rotation back now. And we're against Broly, so at least we're fighting another movie boss. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave these guys in slot one. So they're still getting everything except for Cold Judgment here. And then if we do this, what is their defense now? Yeah, 100 and so it's bait up around 120k without support because obviously they do raise on super, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this. I can't remember the way the stages are laid out after this. Is it Frieza after this one? I think it is, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully we can two turn. Well, Broly, mm, he's got a lot of health. I was going to say, maybe we could two turn him so we get these guys on rotation one against Frieza. But 3.6 with no support is very, very solid. The thing about these guys, I feel like you would run them more on teams. Because obviously they're on Pure Saiyans. This is Goku Family Team. They're not on low-class warriors, which I think is really annoying. I assume it's because Gine is part of the card. But then the card has the Link experienced fighters, which is just kind of annoying. I know they take Links from the two separate characters. But if they were on low-class warriors, I think they'd be a really good unit to run on that team. Although I guess you wouldn't be able to fill out the Goku part of their passive unless you would bring one of the older not so great Gokus but even then they would be good for that team because of their links um, so I think the problem with them when you look at a lot of the side banner units that are coming out now like you got the GT Goten and Trunks the GT Go Bros uh, Garlic Jr a um, bunch of these units that are easily on Bardock and Gine's level if not above in terms of how well they just work by themselves but then there's also the fact that they give like 40% support to various members of your team, depending on which one it is and how you've built the team. Um, so like, yeah, if these guys, if they had had a support passive, even if it wasn't 40%, um, I feel like you would definitely be worth like putting a space on your team to actually run them. But it's a bit of a shame because obviously Goku family is so stacked for the options and so is Pure Saiyans as well. They are on movie heroes, but again, because they don't offer any support, you're really going to be using them as like a main rotation unit if you are using them. You can have them off rotation, but they're obviously not providing any sort of support aside from the active skill. So I guess in that sense, they're kind of like B-Pan, who you bring on the team. You can float her in the third spot to just get the heals, and then you're using her active skill to buff everybody up. So I guess whilst they aren't a traditional support unit, um, their active skill is going to come in really handy. And yeah, here we are. We're against Frieza, and we have them on turn one, and we have the support from High School Gohan, and we have the active skill. So this is them with their full passive active and support. They've got 130k defense. Um, the other thing as well is we can't transform Bardock because he loses two links that he shares with Bardock and Gine. But he's perfectly powerful enough, especially defensively, to just leave in his base form. So let's see. We're only going to really get one shot at Frieza um, because if we attack this turn and then go into the next turn, especially because of GT Goku, we probably finish off Frieza. So I'm not sure whether I want to see the active skill on this turn or not. Because I want to see his attack stat without... I guess this is him with his full passive. So this is the highest attack stat we can see if we use the active skill. So we should we should do it. Because this is the one fight where we get that full full passive. So And then of course everybody else is getting the buff. Everybody on the next turn gets the buff. So Frieza is about to get absolutely annihilated here. We're not going to one turn him. But like he should take a lot of damage. 5.8. Okay, that's uh, 
That's quite a bit higher than I was expecting, actually. But that shows you just how good that 22% like multiplier is, because it probably would have been, what, just over 4, maybe, without that? Because we were looking at getting just over 4 with the full passive. We also have the support, so maybe it would have been 4.5. But, yeah, close to 6, thanks to the active skill, is uh, pretty strong. I mean, look at that. If anyone had additional supered, we, uh, well, apart from Gohan, we potentially would have just one turn this freezer. So, um, I want to put, even though it breaks up the rotation a little bit, I'm going to put you in slot one. You can get ten orbs. Actually, that would have been a good opportunity to use the active skill to finish him off, but, ah, I want to see a big attack stat from him because of the, uh, buff from Bardock and Gine, so... Yeah, 7.7 .7 million with 10 orbs, and this man is 55% for me. <laughs> so, I'm very much looking forward to the uh, GT Super Saiyans coming back on the Worldwide Celebration banner, because even if I somehow don't pull any of them during the summons, I will happily spend red coins to get dupes in them, because they are fantastic units. So, uh, right, so we'll go ahead and keep this rotation. You know what, let's go for... Actually, no, we're not fighting uh, a movie boss, are we? So, on the next turn, I did actually bring um, the STR orb-changing, like, nuke item. So, we'll use that when we're actually against the next Broly. Because then, not only do we have type advantage, but we're fighting a movie boss. So, we are at least getting three quarters of our passive to activate. And look at this. Bardock's built up his defense now, plus the type advantage. So, he just takes double-digit damage from the Gogeta super attack. That's pretty good. So, we got to see the freezer turn. That was a very high attack stat from them. Now, obviously, that's their best case scenario. Here against a non-movie boss, but with support, we're still hitting just under 3 million. So, that's not terrible. Um, I guess in a shorter event where you know you're going to be able to get to just using their active skill, they could be worthwhile bringing as support just for that final turn to blast through the last thing. But, I mean, you can see they hold their own well enough, even in the later stages of this event. So... I'd say they're doing pretty good here. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. <laughs> Type advantage, might as well. Yeah, crit, 3.4 mil. Perfect. So now Goku, put you in slot 1. We'll save the uh, active skill for GT Goku since we do have type disadvantage. So unless we crit, we're not really doing any damage here. Um, hopefully we can get a crit, because then this will be uh, a very solid turn. No super counter. Mm. We got type advantage, but how much damage are we going to take from this? Mm. 61k, that's not too bad. And then 4.78 million. Like the GT Super Saiyan Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku are not perfect link partners, but they do share a lot of good links. So they work out pretty nicely together. If this physical Goku can actually get a crit, we'll take out Gogeta here. Otherwise, I'm not too sure. I think mine only has like five crit. But yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Gohard doesn't quite hit hard enough for uh, this to be GG, I don't think. Maybe if we like double crit super. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> not a lot of damage there, unfortunately. Get a dodge, why not? Alright, well, we'll just let Bardock get another super off to stack here. But at least on the next next time we get these guys around, we will have support in slot 3. We'll be against a movie boss. I'll try and save up some uh, as many red orbs as possible on the field, so I can just go ahead and use the item. And uh, we'll see one big nuke attack with them as their final, <laughs> final attack of the video. So... Um... Right, you can put, I think, because, yeah, Goku, their defenses don't start off all that different. So, let's go ahead and we'll leave you in slot one. Let's try and leave some of these STR orbs here. I don't want to do too much damage with Goku, actually, either. So, let's just get three orbs here. And then we'll grab these. So, this should leave us in a good set. In fact, you know what? We'll heal up and get some defense as well, just to ensure nothing goes wrong on this turn. And then we can get the nice big nuke attack with Bardock and Gine next turn. Hey, we get the super counter. There you go, Goku. That's what you're supposed to do. Get the crit. Nice little bit of million damage as well as not taking a super attack to the face. And uh, yeah, we can do some decent damage here. Don't have to worry about physical Goku needing to crit. Speaking of, Super Saiyan 4 Goku definitely pulling his weight here. 
Didn't get a lot of orbs with GT Goku, so not surprising that he's not hitting a crazy attack stat this turn. He gets a crit though, so still solid damage. <laughs> Even when I'm trying to do as little damage as possible to make sure we have Bardock and Gine come around when he's still alive. We still did a pretty solid amount of damage that turn, so absolutely we will take that. So, here we go. We got support from High School Gohan. Um, we don't get Cold Judgment from you, no, even though that doesn't really matter for attack stats. So, we'll go ahead and put you in slot one. Didn't change many. Let's use the other one. Uh, you don't get an extra attack buff, but at least you change more orbs. So, we can get 18. Okay. So, grab all of these. Uh, we'll give you these. And then, <laughs> he won't be alive then still, I don't think. But this will give High School Gohan a nice, uh, a nice big attack buff as well. So here we go. We got almost all their passive active. 7.3 million with the nuke. Imagine if we'd done that against Frieza on the active skill turn. We might have actually been able to get close to 10 million. And then we additional super for 8 million. I mean, that's pretty good. Obviously, that's using the nuke items, but there you go. So that is the full level 10 links, Bardock and Gine. They are a fun unit. I'm glad I link leveled them up because I do love all the Bardock units. Let me know what you guys think of them down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.